Sarah Stogner was on her way to take out the trash this past weekend when she saw an unusual animal in the yard. It wasn't the Easter Bunny, but an armadillo. Stogner said she had been baking in preparation for Easter Sunday on late Friday night when she decided to take the trash out around 10.15 p.m. at her home in the Richmond Park neighborhood. Stogner said once she realized what it was, she didn't want to walk past it and went back inside. She continued to watch it from the window but says she didn't take a photo. Stogner estimated the armadillo to be around 10 to 15 pounds, about the size of a large cat. The North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission issued a press release on Monday asking residents to report sightings of nine banded armadillos in the state. Native to Central and South America, the nine banded armadillo was first documented in Texas in the mid 1800s and migrated eastward along the Gulf Coast and Mississippi River states, including Florida and western Tennessee. The range also extends south to Argentina. Stogner says she had heard people talking about seeing them in South Carolina. According to the North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission, the state's first reported sighting of the armadillo was in Macon County in 2007. Since then, the small mammal has expanded its range with more than 800 reports in 70 counties throughout most of the mountain counties and along the southern border, with Richard County being the only exception until now. Max Steele found one of the lucky eggs on Sunday during an Easter egg hunt sponsored by American Legion Post 147. According to Carlson Hawkins, Vice Commander of the Post, there were two eggs marked for the finder to receive $5, but there were also 10 eggs worth a dollar each. About 20 kids showed up for the hunt at the Post near Ledbetter Lake. The event also included ice cream. Trying to advance to its second straight Terry Sanford Easter Invitational Championship game, the Richmond Raider baseball team came up a couple of runs short on Tuesday. A night after rallying to win in the opening round, the script flipped for the Raiders, who gave up a pair of four-run leads and fell 8-6 to East Bladen. Aside from one costly inning that saw the Eagles play five runs in the bottom of the third, Richmond otherwise controlled the game early on. Between the third and fourth frames, Richmond allowed six unanswered runs despite limiting East Bladen to just three hits in the game. Head coach Rob Ransom went with a revolving door of pitchers during the semifinal game, starting with freshman Caden Nolan. He was followed by senior Ashton Pfeiffer, freshman Evan Hodges, and junior James Eason, tossed the final two innings, facing just seven total batters. As a pitching staff, the four Raiders combined to walk six batters. At the plate, Richmond struck out 10 times. Richmond will round out the Easter Invitational with a game tonight against Midway. First pitch between the two Raiders squads is set for 1 p.m. at Terry Sanford. When we return, we'll get your live at 5 weather report. It's coming up after the break, so stay tuned. Hometown heroes? Well, maybe. When it comes to backyard comfort and no pesky mosquitoes, call Brown Termite and Pest Control at 910-895-6410 or 910-276-8870. Their team of superheroes can take back control of your paradise. That's 910-895-6410 today. McNair Auto Sales is the place to buy your pre-owned car, truck, or van. To be the best, it takes big selection friendly staff, and great pricing. We guarantee a no-hassle buying experience and financing is available right on site. So come see us today. We're located at 1026 East Broad Avenue in Rockingham. And remember, with over 40 years of experience, you know McNair is the name you can trust. At Richmond County Hospice, we strive to provide high quality care to our patients and their families. Whether it's the incredible hospitality at the Haven House or from the comfort of your own home, you can count on hospice to be there for you. We also offer monthly grief support groups and our chaplain will be there to hold your hand in prayer. Through our amazing staff and our volunteers, hospice has made difficult times easier for our community. Call the number on your screen if you feel that you or your loved one may benefit from our services. Richmond County Hospice, peace, comfort, dignity. And welcome to your live by Water Report. I hope you are having a wonderful Wednesday. It's been a nice one so far. Lots of warm weather going around. 
maybe too warm for some folks out there, but me, it's just my all right kind of temperature. I uh, just wish I could enjoy it a little bit more without having to deal with this pollen that's still going on uh, a couple of days after Easter. Uh, looking at tonight, we're gonna be looking at clear skies with no chance of rain. Six o'clock, we'll be seeing 77 degrees. We'll drop down to the low to mid 60s at nine o'clock at 64. And we'll hit 58 at 11 with a 7.49 p.m. sunset and a third quarter moon phase out tonight as well. Looking at tomorrow, we are going to be expecting temperatures to be about the same as where they are today, but the low will not be quite as low as we saw this morning where we saw about 36, 39 to start off the day. We're going to be expecting to see those lows hang around the high to mid uh, 40s. So looking at Cumberland County, a high of 80, low of 51. Hope County, a high of 78 and a low of 49, with Robeson seeing a high of 77 and a low of 48. Across the, uh, the PD and Anson County, we're we'll seeing a high of 77 and a low of 47. Richard County here seeing a high of 78 and a low of 47. Up in Moore County, a high of 78 and a low of 48 there. Same for Scotland County, and Marlboro will be seeing a high of 77 and a low of 46. Party class, guys, tomorrow, so a little bit more cloud coverage than what we've seen today. Now, as we get into seven-day forecast, you can see Friday is creeping up on us with that 70, or excuse me, 90% chance of showers, high of 76, low of 59. And the weekend still looking to be really nice, high of 78, low of 59 for Saturday, party class, guys. It's going to be a cloudy day on Sunday, a high of 80 and a low of 59. And then we're going to see about a 10 degree drop in temperatures on Monday with a high of 70 and a low of 50, sunny skies. That carries over to Tuesday with a high of 76 and a low of 46. And Wednesday, the run out your seven day forecast with party cloudy skies, high of 80 and a low of 54. And that's going to do it for your Live 5 weather report and for tonight's edition of Live at 5. For the latest news, sports, and events happening in Rich K, you can always visit richmondobserver.com or download the free RO app for your mobile devices. For the Live at 5 crew, I'm Russell Parker. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. Good night, Rich K.